Well, let's go. The Bible says in 2 Peter chapter 3, Knowing this first, there shall come in the last days scoffers. Did you know there are people that scoff at the Bible? I deal with them on a regular basis. I attract them like a lightning rod. <laughs> the scoffers out there, they hate me. I'm trying to be nice to them, okay? But they just don't like me. They don't appreciate this. what a nice, wonderful guy I am. Okay? The scoffers, the Bible says, are going to be walking after their own lust. You know the reason people scoff at the Bible? It's not because of their science. They think it is, okay? But no, they scoff at the Bible because of their lust. They don't want God telling them what to do. That's the bottom line every single time. The scoffers are going to say, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. That's an important phrase. We'll cover that on video four. A very important phrase right there. But the scoffers are going to say, The way things are happening now is the way things have always been happening. Uniformitarianism. We don't have time to cover that now. We'll get to that in part four. The Bible says the scoffers are willingly ignorant. Willingly ignorant. In the Greek, that means dumb on purpose. Okay? The scoffers are dumb on purpose of two things, and here they are. Number one, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old. Notice the word heaven is plural, heavens. There's more than one heaven. We'll talk about that in a minute. The scoffers are ignorant of how God made the heavens by his word and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Now, there's a strange phrase. How can the earth be out of the water and in the water? But look, it says, the heavens and the earth were made by his word. Did you know when God made the universe, he didn't lift one finger? He didn't turn one screw or pound one nail. He just spoke, and every molecule lined up. That's incredible to think about. When he speaks, the waves lay down, the wind quits blowing. When he speaks, the dead come to life. When he speaks, the universe is created. Everything obeys the voice of God, uh, except us. He's having some trouble out of us right now, but he's going to fix that one of these days when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, coming soon to a city near you. Mm -hmm. But the scoffers are willingly ignorant of how God made the heavens by his word, and they're ignorant of how the earth was standing out of the water and in the water. In other words, they're ignorant of the original creation. What was it like? We'll talk about that in a second. The second thing they're ignorant of is the flood. It says, the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. This world was destroyed by a flood, totally annihilated. The third thing they're ignorant of is the coming judgment. Next verse says, But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. See, the scoffers are ignorant of the creation. They don't want to admit God created the world because that would mean he owns it. They don't want to admit there was a flood because, you know, that proves God has the authority to judge his creation. They don't like that idea. And they sure don't want to admit there's a coming judgment. I like that bumper sticker. So Jesus is coming, and boy, is he mad. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, sadly, many Christians are also ignorant of what that original creation was like and what that flood did to this world. And so it, because of their ignorance of the creation and the flood, it causes Christians to compromise the clear teaching 